Yo, what's going on guys? My name is The Surf here, and I'm actually gonna be bringing you a tutorial today because like probably a lot of y'all heard that on the 29th of this month, so in one day, so tomorrow, so this video is not gonna really probably even blow up, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually get the beta build of Streamlabs OBS that will come with the brand new NVIDIA the new encoder that OBS and NVIDIA have been working on and just to kind of prove to you um, uh, Output NVIDIA NVENC new and that's what this is actually being recorded with so This is gonna be a short video guys because there's not a whole hell of a lot to it I mean there is I don't think that this new theme that this theme what this ranchy theme was actually in this arc archy theme which ooh, i kind of actually like a little bit more were in the other versions if they were then i'm wrong if they're not then you know whatever but so pretty much the only only new thing with this update is going to be this new encoder that you can actually use for both recording and streaming and it's supposed to be made it's supposed to be the exact same encoder that's within shadow play so it's it's made solely for nvidia cards i know the other nvenc encoder was made for nvidia cards but this is supposed to be like a more up-to-date and higher end version of that encoder so you know, it should be pretty cool. So pretty much, I'll leave a link down to it in the description below. I already have it downloaded, of course. So I'll leave a link to this. It's gonna automatically download it for you. So you just hit enter. It's gonna go ahead and just automatically download it right here. And then I'm just gonna make a new folder, call it OBS new. We'll make that where you guys can actually see it. So, now that you have that, and it's made, and the, the folder's made, you literally just want to go and take all of these in here, plop them in the, the new folder you made, or you can just hit the wizard button and just have it take everything and pre-file it, which is actually what I did where did it go? Oh, right here. Which is actually just to show y'all that it's the same exact thing. There's that folder in Vink Test 9 and OBS New, right? So it's it's the same shit. So we're just gonna go ahead and delete that folder. So now, now that you got it taken out and everything, you just want to go to bin 64 bit and then just launch the OBS uh, 64.exe and you'll be there with the newer version of OBS. A lot of people that have been making videos have been acting like it's some special thing that they've got and I've been using this version for the past like six or seven streams I've done and I will say it does look really good. I did a actual test video. I Alright, so we are going to be I guess testing to see how well the video quality is on this new encoder and honestly I couldn't think of any other game outside of Minecraft it doesn't look too bad guys so anyways if you enjoy the video and you want to see more tutorials for anything whether it be good recording settings good stream settings which I did a video for the best stream settings for Streamlabs OBS but I have since then just switched to just normal OBS because I feel it does actually provide a better quality and since normal OBS is now getting this new encoder I'm definitely gonna be using it a lot more so if you guys want to see one for that let me know down below hit that like button if you dislike if you like the video if you dislike the video hit the dislike button and then just let me know why you know so I can maybe approve on it and hit that sub and hit click that post notification bell icon because right now I'm doing my playthrough of Resident Evil 2 which I know a lot of people are but I'm having a lot of fun on it but anyways guys I've been the Surfer, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video.